When we heard the price, we were not going to get the Thousand Trails Adventure Pass. Now we're considering it. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. And I'm Paul. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And you'll definitely live amazing if you have more camping options, more time to spend with your family and friends, and just more adventures. So we are talking to you today about the Thousand Trails Adventure Pass, which did just come out. And we saw all kinds of stuff on the internet about it that turned us off of it. But before we get too deep into that, if you are not a Thousand Trails member yet, you probably ought to go to our $50 a month Thousand Trails video. Yeah, and then come back to this one because it'll make a lot more sense. You know, we should mention that the Adventure Pass is an upgrade to your current membership. So when we first heard that the Adventure Pass was, was coming out, we got a preview on the prices and we we're like, we don't want to hear anymore. There's just no way it would make sense for us. Yeah, it just, uh, the numbers just didn't pencil out until we found out more information about it. it you know, what you're going to get. We're, we still haven't decided. We aren't a hundred percent committed to buying it, but we are leaning in that direction right now. We definitely are. And that's why we decided to make this video because we've seen some videos out there that don't give the price. We're definitely going to talk about the prices and we're going to talk about the value and what it means for us. We're full-time RVers. We've been on the road for a couple years, but we think even if you're not full-time, that it really would make sense. So grab a notebook because we are gonna go over all the numbers, we're gonna explain the entire adventure pass and see if it makes sense. And really, honestly, the more we talk about it, the more we're leaning towards, yeah. you know, maybe we oh, should yeah. get it. Yeah. So should we give the prices first? Yeah, let's let's, <laughs> let's just, get the prices. Let's just get it out there. So if you have just the camping pass, which is the basic one, you generally get the camping pass free when you buy an RV. Yeah, right. Yeah. A lot of dealers offer you a one-year membership in Thousand Trails if you buy a, a rig from them. So if you have just the camping pass, you probably have nothing invested in Thousand Trails, or if you bought it directly from Thousand Trails, $700. To do the adventure pass, $15,000. $595, but don't hang up the phone <laughs> yeah. because we, we have some value that we're going to talk about. Yeah. Um, the next level is if you have an elite basic, it's what we have. Mm -hmm. We book 120 days in advance. We have all of Thousand Trails, and um, that upgrade is 11595 And if you have the elite connection, which is a little higher up, uh, you'll pay 10595 If you have the Odyssey, which is not even offered anymore, it was a limited time time offered about 18 months ago, um, it's 4995 These prices have some discounts that may or may not be in effect, um, so that's something else. Um, we're going to put Eric Benson's name. There are going to be some specials that uh, come in and go out, limited time. Yes. So you may be able to get some significant discounts off of those, but we've talked to Eric. We trust him. I talked to him before I became a Thousand Trails member and uh, he will definitely take care of you. Yeah, I don't want to sound like a pitch man here, but there is a limited time to get into this membership because I think they will be cutting it off at some point. That's what they're saying is there will be a limited. So now that you have the numbers and you're like reeling, um, know that there is financing. We are really looking at it and here's the value that comes with it. Okay, so first of all, for your Thousand Trails parks, there's 81 of them you get 180 days. 180 day reservation window. Yes, so if you're a planner, if you like to really know in advance that you have it without a shadow of the doubt, the 180 days will really help you. Now we have 120 days, we've had no problems, but we do know, and you probably know this too, there has been a huge boom in RVers. People are buying RVs, there's been an RV scarcity, Thousand Trails has, has definitely been selling a lot of these. And I think part of it is the coronavirus, right? You know, people yeah. people want to get out in their RVs more and camp and bring their bubble with them. And yeah, that's the new entertainment for people to get away from their normal lives. I mean, this is our normal life. But, but <laughs> right. Again, for people who are not full-time RVers like we are, you know, there's a lot of you coming out here. And... Oh, because the other thing is, because people are working virtually. Working from home doesn't mean 
staying at home. We met teachers, since they're all teaching on Zoom, that were on the road in their RV. Yes, with young families. So what we're saying is, although the 180-day booking is not crucial now, it may be important as more and more people flood into Thousand Trails, you might need those extra days. Now, again, those prices are pretty high. I mean, it's, there's definitely a sticker shock. But the value added that they put into this thing is they are giving you a one week at the getaway cabins for 10 years. So you get one week for, well, just like I said, you get one week for 10 years. If you add it up, that's worth $5,600. That's right. So for your Thousand Trails membership, you can probably get a getaway cabin. Now, a getaway cabin typically has a queen bedroom and a loft with a couple twins. It's ideal if you're out here and you want to have, you miss the grandkids, you miss your grown kids, they can book a cabin. So instead of spending 80 a night times seven, that's $560 a week, you get that one week free for 10 years. Right. So there's 5,600 of that big money yep. coming back. Yep. And then what's the other big money you're getting back? The, there's more. Yeah, the, the cabins. The getaway cabins and the cabins are two separate entities at the campgrounds. There's a, a cabin spiff and it is one week for five years. So that's $70 a night times seven times five. You're looking at $2,400 that you're getting back. The really biggie, I think, is the vacation credit. Yeah, the vacation credit is huge. You get two years of RPI membership for free, which uh, I'm paying right around $300 a year for the, for the membership. And then you're getting a $500 credit every year for six years. So that $500 vacation credit is not limited to RV campgrounds. No, no it's, you, you can stay in hotels. Yep, you can use it towards a cruise. Condos, cabins, anything. It's you, resort properties it's international resort, and yes. it is worldwide. You get this $500 a year credit, you can go anywhere you want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. And they have yep. thousands of properties. It doesn't limit you to travel in the United States. So that six times 500 is $3,000. Right. So let's look at the value here. You've got $5,600 that you're getting back for a week at the getaway cabins, the bigger cabins. Then you're getting $2,400 for your time in the regular cabins. Mm -hmm. And then $3,000 in the vacation. Yeah, plus $500 a year for six years. Yeah, that's $3,000. Mm -hmm. yeah. Plus RPI membership, two years of that. Right, $600. Yeah. So that's $11,600 that you can just subtract from that big number. That right. Would... But there's more. The dues are locked in. Did we talk about that? No, we didn't. So if you bought a membership on the secondary market. Which we did. Like we did. Your dues are never going to lock in. So they're going to go up, I don't know, 10% a year. So yeah, it used to be 550 Now what are we at? Yeah. 600 and And then next year it'll be closer to 700 And following year it'll be closer to 800 Right, so, right. So with the Adventure Pass, the really big advantage is that when you hit 62, or if you're already over 62, <laughs> the dues lock in. And that is huge. And that's something we're really looking at. Um, we're also looking at the number. You're <laughs> We're all crying. <laughs> We're also looking at the fact that there is a limited amount of these adventure passes sold. Right. But there's more that we're looking at in value. This one is huge. So what Trails Collection is, is an add-on to give you more parks to choose from. There's 81,000 trails. It's not a lot. They're mostly around the perimeter of the country. There's 116 Trails Collections. Um, in Trails Collection, the way it sits right now, 14 in, 7 out. So now there's something called Trails Collections Plus, and you don't have to get it, but if you want it, you have to get the Adventure Pass to get it. And what it allows you to do is book 90 days in advance instead of 60. And you get three weeks instead of two weeks. And there's no limit to how many Trails Collections you can have on the books as long as they're not the two in the keys, as the only exception. There are some high use limitations there. You can also go Trails Collection to Trails Collection. Yes, yeah, you can jump from park to park, with, which is huge for full-timers. These 116 extra parks really make a difference. Yes, they do. If you're, especially if you're gonna winter in Arizona or Florida, mm -hmm. which a lot of us do. 
So if you look at Arizona, for example, there is only 1,000 trails campground, and it's way up uh, almost to Flagstaff. Yeah, right? near Sedona. It's in Cottonwood, if you're familiar with the area. Right. So the trails collections, there are how many 19 trails collections in Arizona? They're all scattered They're across. They're scattered all around the, the uh, state, yeah. It's much easier to bounce from the trails collection to trails collection. Yeah, so yeah, you're not you driving all the way up to yeah, Sedona. Yeah, you don't have... Uh, yeah, if you were in if you if you were in Yuma and you wanted to go for that week that you have to be out of the system, you wanted to go to a Thousand Trails Park, you'd be driving from Yuma to Cottonwood. Yeah. And that's uh, easy four hours. And it just doesn't make sense because it's cold up there. Yeah. It's cold up there yeah. in the winter. So you're not even, not even going to want to go there. Things actually freeze there. So the Trails Collection Plus is $615. We think that's worth it. You know, mm -hmm. Florida is the same way. If you want a winter in Florida, there's only two thousand trails campgrounds. They get full very fast. But you know how many trails collections there are in Florida? Mm. Thirty-nine. Wow. And there's even two in the Keys. So that is really good. It's six hundred and fifteen dollars to do the trails collection plus. If you're a full timing or if you're a snowbird. Mm -hmm. We recommend looking at that because that 90-day booking window and being able to have more than two on the books and being able to go from trails collection to trails collection yeah, yeah. is really... Right. Yeah. Yeah. Monthly rates, like in Florida, you can get for under $1,000, like in North Florida. When you get down to Central Florida, it's right around 1000 a month. You get down below Tampa, you get Sarasota, Naples. Oh, my goodness. I've heard, you know, 2000 even 3000 a month down there it's nice and warm down there and you know the property <laughs> property is expensive so you know the trails collection makes sense if you're going to winter in florida and not pay you know thousands a month to do it i have no experience with florida <laughs> she's from florida <laughs> the grass is green there unlike in california <laughs> there's green grass yeah so one of the things i do want to talk about and is the odyssey okay there are some people who have the odyssey now the odyssey is no longer sold but if you have it you you have 28 days that you can stay park to park that's a, yeah this is a big one this is a big one so yeah. we've been hearing people going there's no way that i'm going to get the adventure pass because i have odyssey and if you switch from odyssey to adventure you lose your 28 days and you go down to 21 well why would you ever do that yeah. well because you can get the trails collection and you lose the 14 days and now 21. so a week is taken away from thousand trails but it's added for you back on Trails Collection. Plus There's, no time out, which, and, which yeah. is big. Yeah. yeah, but you're looking at 81,000 trails versus 116 Trails Collection. So certainly it's your decision to make, but that is something to think about right there. You know, in the summer, there's so many places to go in the U.S. There's so many places. You know, we can go all over the country, you yeah. know, but in the winter, it's, it is limited. You know, pretty much, if you're going to do this life, you're going to winter in the bottom half. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 Arizona, else? Texas, even California, where we are now. Mm -hmm. um, and Florida. And Florida, yeah. Right, and and that's, that's the biggest thing. And so for us, the more we talk about the Adventure Pass, the more it makes sense, particularly since they might take it away, and, you know, we... Yeah, they won't take, just to be clear, they're not going to take it away after you buy it. They're just going to take it away as an option to buy it. Yeah, it's going to be a limited number sold. So take your notes that you've made on this video. Make the right decision for you. Yep. Just kind of add it up. Call Eric Benson if you have any questions. The conversation that we had with him last night, is he, he said, the only way I would sell this to somebody is if it makes sense for them. And we know Eric and, and we believe that is the way he feels. So let us know in the comments. We'd love to know what you guys are thinking about this. Yeah, we, we definitely are on the fence. And uh, give us your pros and cons of this. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. See you then. Baby, you want an adventure? You bet. Then here, take out the trash. <laughs>